people uh, you have to clear this paper both the methodology and statistics before applying for before submitting the synopsis for project work in the next year okay so uh, yes so we discuss this uh, type of data quantitative qualitative and uh, last day we discussed about the inferential statistics the statistics uh, psychologists commonly use for for testing the hypothesis yes <clears throat> so this uh, testing hypothesis is uh, mainly for uh, a, for arriving a conclusion regarding this population parameters based on the sample the investigator or researcher study and to, uh, for this uh, hypothesis testing various hypo statistical statistical methods are used in research in psychology okay <clears throat> i think we have discussed up to here hypothesis testing testing hypothesis the methodology is doing now hello hello no one hello sir research methodology kaiñu kaiñu yes okay then uh, so you know what is a hypothesis and how the, sorry the type of hypothesis etc hmm? okay anyway hypothesis is tentative and uh, alternative sorry a tentative and testable answer to the question the researcher formed in a research investigator formed in a research so the uh, research start with raising a question and there is an answer for the investigator for the researcher and that is tentative and it should be testable in the form of hypothesis so for this procedure for this testing procedure statistics are being used and uh, uh, as you learned there are two type of hypothesis net hypothesis and uh, alternative hypothesis <coughs> sorry now hypothesis is a statement one wants to test here the researcher wants to test in general it is the thing that are the same as each other or same as a theoretical explain expectation what the researcher expect theoretically by studying a population or comparing a population with other population <coughs> so <coughs> at this uh, expectation the researcher form the hypothesis generally in terms of there are no difference between two samples because they come from or drawn from the same population and thereby both have equal <coughs> mean and standard deviation if population is normally distributed okay that is null hypothesis now hypothesis generally in terms of uh there are no difference between two sample or two group uh, by which the investigator comes to the conclusion that is a null hypothesis <coughs> in set, in certain situation the null hypothesis may be in terms of the, there are a difference between two groups okay counter position proposition to this null hypothesis alternative hypothesis and here it states that things are different from each other groups are different from each other <coughs> because there are some theories based on this different uh, for, for this uh, difference it proposes that two samples belong to different two different groups and therefore there are significant difference between two groups or two uh, sample means 
H1 that is alternative hypothesis not directly tested statistically rather its acceptance the acceptance of sorry the acceptance of acceptance and sorry or the rejection of null hypothesis tested H0 is tested theoretically in statistical procedure if H0 reject that means we accept the researcher accept the alternative hypothesis or H1 if uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, uh, if through statistical procedure the researcher uh, sometimes may accept the null hypothesis he formulated so basically testing the null hypothesis using different types of statistical method okay <coughs> so there are two types of hypothesis null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis this the inferential statistics uh, for testing the hypothesis formulated by the researcher as part of the research process and in testing uh, testing the hypothesis statistics is generally used in as we discussed uh, to type of hypothesis, null hypothesis, and alternative hypothesis, <coughs> null hypothesis. In this statement, an investigator want to test, and uh, it is the in general is the thing that the same group, same or population are same uh, as a theoretical explanation. It means there are no difference between two sample or two population and this statement tentative answer or testable answer is being tested using statistical method and it's a counter proposition is alternative hypothesis that means there are there are things that are different from each other, or there are difference between the two because the two groups are coming from or drawn from different focus okay yes so generally uh, we can test only the order sorry uh, null hypothesis and the acceptance or rejection of the null hypothesis uh, is the question of statistical method and here for example uh, in a clinical trial of a new drug the null hypothesis is that new drug is no better on its average efficiency than the current drug so it is zero there is null hypothesis here is there is no significant difference between two drugs on its average effect average uh, uh, effect uh, on symptoms of any, uh, in any diseases okay if it if this null hypothesis is rejected it means alternative hypothesis accept okay alternative hypothesis in this case mean threats have different effect on average uh, this is the current drug and the new drug have different effect on average for relieving the symptom of one disease. Okay, so this is the, uh, 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 the difference between this. Uh, this example illustrates the difference between the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis states that there are no significant difference, and alternative hypothesis states that it's a it's opposite. There are difference between two groups two groups or things or effect etc whatever the hypothesis formulated that's tested using the um, statistical method so general procedure for testing hypothesis is that first uh, uh, step is set up a null hypothesis suitable to the research question or problem second is define the alternative hypothesis because if the Null hypothesis. The null if uh, null hypothesis uh, rejected, it means the researcher in accept the alternative hypothesis. 
and test the hypothesis using suitable statistical method define the degree of freedom for test situation and find the probability level that is p value and the last procedure that is reject or accept the null hypothesis on the basis of calculated value at a practical probability level this is the general procedure for testing hypothesis using statistics first is a uh, set of a null hypothesis then define its alternative alternative state of the alternative hypothesis calculate or test this hypothesis using a suitable statistics define the degree of freedom for uh, the testing situation find the probability level for accepting or rejecting the null hypothesis uh, and thereby the researcher come to the conclusion we accept or reject the null hypothesis he formulated as part of the research okay yes so um, uh, testing uh, for this testing procedure uh, as we discussed the level of confidence or significance level is very important to take a decision about the level of significance at which hypothesis is going to be tested uh, uh, this level means that is an arbitrary standard uh, standard or cutoff point or critical point uh, along the probability scale so as to separate significant difference from non-significant difference between two sample statistics and this cutoff point or critical point is purely based on the probability theory in statistics and uh, that is not that is beyond our uh, discussion uh, uh, because we don't have enough time for discussing all this theoretical aspect okay yes and this uh, level is denoted by p value a measure of how likely the sample results are assuming that null hypothesis is true or not true or false there is a level there is a value there is a cut of value there is a standard arbitrary standard based on the statistical probability theory and this level determines whether the investigator has to accept or reject the null hypothesis okay and in psychology customary we take the limit of five percentage or one percentage level five percentage level is most popular but for a uh, accurate scientific uh, um, uh, scientific uh, uh, reliability or scientific process one per uh, one percent level is uh, uh, preferred okay if the sample values lies between this confidence limit hypothesis is accepted sorry null hypothesis is accepted that means it does not reject if the value the calculated value there is a problem and uh, we calculate uh, a particular uh, we we calculate the value using a particular uh, statistical test and if the uh, calculated value lies between this limit this confidence limit it means the investigator has to accept the null hypothesis he formulated okay so uh, naturally if it is beyond this limit he has to reject the null hypothesis when an alternative hypothesis when a uh, an null hypothesis rejected at five percentage level said that there are chance 95 out of 100 that it is not true means there is a chance that there is a uh, there is a chance that there is a probability that if uh, if we conduct this uh, same uh, research process for 100 trial there are 95 there are probability for 95 trials this uh, the same research may occur. Similarly, uh, one percent level that means 99 out of 100. This assumption is uh, the assumption is true. So the assumption is not true. That means the assumption of null hypothesis not. Okay, we are testing only null hypothesis. 
so based on this limit based on this confidence limit based on this value uh, the investigator has to accept or reject not hypothesis if we use the 5 percentage level that means 95 out of 100 the null hypothesis is not true or if we use one percentage level that means 99 out of 100 the null hypothesis is not true that means there are significant difference uh, exist between two samples if we reject the null hypothesis okay and for uh, testing uh, this uh, uh, le uh, level of significance, there are we use there are two types of uh, uh, test. Uh, there is uh, two-tailed and one-tailed test of significance. Here, try to find out the significant difference between two sample means. Uh, the uh, investigator may conclude that the difference really exists between two samples, but no assertion that. The direction of difference that first means it's low it, it is the first mean is larger or smaller than the set okay assertion here is that if we use the two tailed uh, test the assumption assumption is that assertion is that there are significant difference but it does not indicate the direction whether the first sample is larger or second sample is smaller than the other uh, but if we uh, if we use this uh, directional or one tail test the difference is the concept that means first uh, sample is larger than the second sample or second sample is smaller than the first sample okay that is the uh, Yes, that is the uh, two-tailed and one-tailed test of significance. In psychology, we use two-tailed significance. We have to find out whether there are significant difference exists between two samples. Okay, without the uh, direction, concern of the direction. Mm -hmm. okay. And there are some possibility for errors in testing the hypothesis. Uh, as we discussed, the null hypothesis can be either true or false, or the uh, null hypothesis uh, the investigator uh, reject or accept. Ideally, uh, this procedure, testing uh, hypothesis procedure, may lead to the acceptance of H0 when it is true and rejection of H0 when it is false. When uh, null hypothesis is true, the investigator accepts the null hypothesis. And when uh, the null hypothesis is false, the investigator rejects the null hypothesis. So uh, there are possibility for uh, errors. We get only two results: either we accept or reject the null hypothesis. Do not know whether it is true or false. There are four four possibility that may arise, and this. Possibilities are given here. First possibility by taking by testing an hypothesis is that the formulated null hypothesis true. That means there are uh, there are significant difference between two sample or two population at theoretical level, but the test value says that the investigator has to reject the null hypothesis. So, in act, actually, this hypothesis is true, but the test value assume based on the test value, the investigator reject the null hypothesis he formulated. So, that is an error. That kind of error is known as type 1 error. That means accepting the uh, sorry, rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true. The investigator rejects the null hypothesis, but uh, in reality, the null hypothesis is true. That type of error is known as type 1. Yes. So its opposite is also uh, occur in testing some procedure. Uh, that is, the hypothesis is false. The null hypothesis is theoretically or at application level it is false. 
But the test value says that the investigator has to accept the uh, accept the null type. That is another. That is the other error. That is type two error. Here, the investigator accept the null hypothesis when it is false. That is an other error. That is the type two error. And the other two possibilities are correct decision based on the uh, correct decision based on the statistical calculated statistical value. That is hypothesis true and test says that it has to be accepted so the correct decision now if hypothesis that says uh, that, uh, that that means there are two there are no difference between two samples and the test value calculated value also says that there are no difference between the two values. so the formulated null hypothesis uh, is accepted by the industry so that is correct decision Similarly, hypothesis false and the test result assert that the investigator has to reject the formulated null hypothesis. That is also correct decision. So by testing uh, this uh, hypothesis using the statistical method, there are two possibilities for errors occurring in this procedure, type 1 error and type 2 error. Type 1 error uh, states that the investigator rejects the null hypothesis when it is true. And type 2 error is the investigator accepts the null hypothesis when it is false. Okay. That is the uh, type 1 error and type 2 error. For example, uh, in our earlier example, type 1 error, possibility for type 1 error occur, or error may occur. Uh, and uh, the investigator conclude that two, two drugs are produced to different effect when in fact there was no difference between the effect of these two drugs. So that is uh, that is uh, uh, hypothesis. Uh, hypothesis uh, is true, uh, but the test results say that it has to be rejected. In uh, uh, in reality, there was no difference between the effect of the two drugs. Okay. But that uh, uh, that uh, uh, hypothesis was rejected. So this uh, test uh, says that it has to be uh, it has to be rejected. okay. Type one run it. And uh, one more uh, thing that is to be important in testing procedure is properties of the normal distribution curve. This is the normal distribution. I don't know whether you can see these points clearly. Can you see this point? Hello? This uh, values. Hello? Yes, sir. We can yes, see. Sir. Okay, okay, we, can, okay. we can see clear. Uh, maybe I can't send the slide to Madam uh, yesterday itself. Uh, okay, I don't know whether Madam has shared or not. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> so, anyway, you check with that slide, then only you can get. Mm, a clear picture about this presentation. Okay, so this is the normal uh, distribution curve. Here, the center value that is mu uh, is all these are statistical term, but the psychologists are not uh, using this kind of uh, letters or this kind of uh, um, term. Okay, mu means mean, and this sigma, the other uh, letter that is sigma, sigma, that means uh, standard deviation. Okay, mean and standard deviation. So, in a normal distribution curve, this mean and standard deviations are arranged with a particular percent. Uh, so, as you can see in this, uh, uh, in this figure, first one, and this is uh, mean m plus plus one is that means. A mean plus one standard deviation plus one standard deviation similarly mean minus one standard deviation. so in sum in total mean minus one is d2 mean plus one is d that that uh, uh, that uh, include 
that consists of uh, 68% of this normal distribution curve. If we take this normal distribution curve uh, as a 100 percentage, 68 percentage of uh, data falls within this for this uh, portion, 68 percentage portion. That means mean plus or minus 1 SD. Mean minus 1 SD to mean plus 1 SD. Okay. And the next level is mean minus 2 SD to mean plus 1 SD that fall in between 95 percentage of the data in a series of, in a group of data. Okay. Then minus 1 3 SD to plus uh, mean minus 3 SD standard deviation to mean plus 3 SD that constitute 99.7 percentage of the data. This lens, uh, this uh, curve is not touching this uh, axis, x axis. That is the property of the normal distribution. It never touches the zero level in the x axis. Okay. 99.7 percentage lies in between uh, in between mean minus 1 s 3 standard deviation to mean plus 1 mean plus 3 standard deviation okay this is very important for testing the for knowing the limit of the testing hypothesis okay all these are theoretical aspects for the psychological level we are using only this uh, uh statistical technique <coughs> only and there is uh, now there is a program there is a software for testing for uh, for calculating various statistical method you might have heard some of you have heard that is a software is a spss statistical package for social science okay <coughs> using that uh, software we can do all this uh, Almost all this uh, statistical calculation. <coughs> okay, this is the another uh, figure for uh, this uh, distribution of sample within this plus or within this uh, mean and uh, within the limit of the mean and uh, standard deviation. Okay, all these are <coughs> say <coughs> sorry. Okay, so <clears throat> next is the statistical test. To make the generalization about the population from the sample, we use different uh, kind of statistical test. And this test is all generally grouped under two uh, group. They are parametric test and non-parametric. So statistical test we can classify into two, parametric and non-parametric. In the literary meaning of the term, this parametrical test, statistical test is one that make assumption about the parameters, defining the properties of the popular population distribution from which one's data are drawn following a probability of distribution. In the case of parametrical statistical test, <clears throat> there are some properties. So if these properties are fulfilled by a parametric test, we can use such parametric test for testing the uh, procedure. And this is this parametric uh, test is most well known elementary statistical method. And while a non-parametric uh, test is one that makes no such assumption, no assumption of uh, by normal distribution, popular uh, uh, for a normal distribution, term. no idea regarding the population parameter. The investigator uh, does not know the parameters of the population, or it is also known as distribution free method. In parametric test, there are some properties of normal distribution, term, but in non parametric it is distribution for example if this uh, data are um, distributed like this as shown this figure this is not a normal distribution curve in such case 
the investigator has to use non parametric test another uh, curve which also describe a particular set of data in which non parametric test has to be used okay so there are <coughs> different criteria for choosing parametric and non parametric test for testing the formulated hypothesis or difference between parametric and non parametric test first is parametric test in parametric test population sample should be normally distributed but in the case of non parametric test it is assumed any distribution not based on any underlying assumption of normal distribution curve or nothing uh, the investigators do not know nothing about the distribution of the variables in the population okay and second is assumption is that there are homogeneous vari variants or equal variants among the participants in the sample uh, uh in non parametric test the group may be variants of the group may be homogeneous or heterogeneous it can be homogeneous uh, or heterogeneous and third is for testing the parametric test adequate minimum sample is 30 so more than 30 per group if you test two groups in each group there should be at least 30 sample and the size of the sample is determined by another uh, determined by some statistical uh, theory and generally we take the size of the we decide the size of the sample based on the population for example if the if, uh, if the population is very large like uh, the student population to represent that population adequate sample should be uh, should be drawn by the investigator it should not be 30. if we if the receptor take the 30 uh, it indicates that it is not representing the population okay so in para in non parametric test uh, generally sample size is small in certain situation the industry is not able to collect the data uh, adequately for not to collect the data uh, from a large number of people. For example, if a researcher conducts a study uh, on the sample of a new disease or very rarely seen disease. So in such a situation, it is not possible to get the uh, information from a large number of people. In such case, sample size may be small. So in such a situation, non-parametric test can be preferred. Okay. <clears throat> and th third is, Typically, uh, data with uh, ratio or interval scale for testing non-parametric statistical test. Okay. Frequency of data usually with central tendency of mean. Mean will be the central tendency. And the data will be uh, collected using the scale in terms of ratio or interval. Okay, in non-parametric test, ordinal or nominal scale. If the investigator collects the data using the no ordinal or nominal scale, non-parametric test uh, is used. <coughs> yes, and uh, fifth is parametric test usually have more statistical power compared to the non-parametric test, and it can draw more clear conclusion about the uh, population based on sample and uh, 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 here in non-parametric test uh, one uh, one point i forgot sorry in non-parametric test usually uh, central tendency is median if median is taking as the central tendency then non-parametric test will be preferred uh, and compared to this uh, statistical power non-parametric tests are being are are uh, less precise uh, because it is less affected by extreme score 
if you take the if you take the if you take the non uh, if you take the uh, uh, median it is less affected by the extremes okay so in this way both parametric and the non parametric test of different first one there is a property of normal distribution second is regarding the variance homogeneous or homogeneous and heterogeneous homogeneous or, hetero or heterogeneous then with the size of the sample and third is the kind of the data uh, and also with the uh, type of central tendency and uh, fifth difference is regarding the statistical power or precision of the inference precision of the conclusion drawn from testing the hypothesis so in this way uh, the investigator use uh, use parametric or non parametric so based on the sample property the investigator has to choose appropriate tests then only the uh, testing hypothesis will be precise if the investigator uh, take the uh, choose this uh, inappropriate uh, test definitely it will affect the conclusion okay so this is very important the choice of the particular test whether it is parametric or non parametric it's based on these criteria and these criteria are very important for uh, very important for drawing the conclusion or reaching a inference at the last of the research process okay for example for this uh, choosing the parametric and non parametric test in case of the non parametric test, in studying a variable such as anxiety it can be stated that subject a is more anxious than b without knowing at all exactly how much more anxious a is than b here the scale of measurement is in ordinal scale there is an order a is in first order b is in second but we don't know uh, the degree of difference between these two subjects so data is inherently in rank or in ordinal position ordinal category uh, so we can uh, categorize the data as plus or minus uh, compared to the uh, compared to its uh, respondents position so here it can be treated by using non parametric test for uh, parametric test uh, for example aptitude teaching aptitude of the teachers this is a normal distributor uh variable so you can use the parametric test. so different types of test parametric and non parametric test and this para using this parametric or non parametric test the investigator testing the <coughs> hypothesis and uh, drawing the conclusion drawing the inferences based on sample about the problem. Okay, different kinds of uh, non-parametric tests like the sign test, median test, magnitude test, skull values, and central rank correlation. And uh, for parametric p test, ANOVA, ANOVA test, and uh, different uh, types of correlation. This correlation test, uh, some correlation tests are non-parametric also. So this correlation test uh, comes in both category, parametric and non-parametric. Okay. Maybe we are not uh, doing all these uh, tests and only. Totally uh important test are uh test are discussed and uh, using this test we are doing the problem okay <clears throat> also measurement that we have already discussed and these are this uh, uh this uh classification for the different kinds of parametric and non-parametric test parametric with uh, one sample two sample for one sample there are tests like the t-test is a test with the two sample there are independent sample paired sample so there may there are tests like uh, independent sample t test then paired t test 
uh, and also for independent sample there is another test that test is known as Z test for the non parametric test test with one sample and two sample test with one sample like the chi square Paul Megrovo Simronov runs binomial with the two sample, independent sample and fired sample. For independent sample, there are chi square, man Whitney, Mead, EN, uh, Paul Megrovo Simronov, uh, then uh, for fired, scientist with Koch, Finn, McNamara and chi square. It has tell how much in the letter, in other words, in the classification general items. 10 hours on the the lunch here in the sun. All the Pradana Pata, put it to stage. Okay. Yes. Ni number problem to lake who we are in the main. You have a lump problem, son. Problems are in the theoretical article. That in the Triola and not in the basic foundation. And then I was like, well, I could just do it. And then the property is it. May the dealer test on you say in the parametric or non parametric. So the next section is <clears throat> about the different kinds of uh, parametric and non parametric test. In your other number, test on the amount of the test in the chain and umble and kind of some problem, love you. Problem chain. Next year, project is status to be a research. Status is a question. I will show you the size. Now, we will be ready for 5 minutes. What is the Statistics were chosen along the way. Let's add that's for a cardiac alcohol. Ah, that's the correct. Let the basic care, a lot of cutting room, and three of us will have a particular lamps, pull up a particular one. Basic inferential and descriptive statistics in the full level. Inferential, inferential, advanced level. On the degree level, I'm not in front of the statistics. I'm not in front of the statistics. I'm not in front of the statistics. i the other hypothesis is accepted. Accepted, okay. Testing the now hypothesis. Now hypothesis are difference in la in the Bernan Edison. But check, tell us how it is the theoretical level number difference. Kana, Petum in the Gil. I'm going to assumption on all the Gil. Automate, now hypothesis and number is the difference in the number of the Zero, H0 and the difference is one or H2 or a cat and the other one. The other one is 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 the the one down a palapodum, no difference of the money. I've been a portfolio. I'm going to get my clarity. Degree level, mm, a regular course in a good paper. Sub by the paper. Good was somebody picking the paper. Physiology, uh, statistics on it. Oh, I'm sure the
പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് കേട്ടോ നേരത്തെ നമ്മളൊക്കെ പഠിച്ച സമയത്ത് ഒരു അന്ന് സെമസ്റ്റർ ആയിരുന്നില്ലല്ലോ വർഷമായിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ ഒരു വർഷം മുഴുവനും സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് പഠിക്കണം ഫിസിയോളജി സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് പഠിക്കണം അത് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇയർ ഇല്ല സോറി സെക്കൻഡ് ഇയർ ആയിരുന്നു ഇപ്പൊ സെമസ്റ്റർ ആയ സമയത്ത് റെഗുലർ കോഴ്സിന് സെമസ്റ്റർ ആയ സമയത്ത് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നത് മൂന്ന് സെമ്മിലുണ്ട് ഒന്നും ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇയർ രണ്ട് സെമ്മിലുണ്ട് സെക്കൻഡ് ഇയർ ഫസ്റ്റ് സെമ്മിലുണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ ഏകദേശം ഒന്നര നമ്മളിപ്പോ ഈ ഇതിനകത്ത് പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്ന സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് നമുക്ക് ആ കിട്ടുന്ന ടെൻ അവേഴ്സ് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ ടെൻ അവേഴ്സ് കൊണ്ട് ഇത്ര ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് പറയാനും പറ്റൂല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഒരു വർഷമോ ഒന്നര വർഷമോ ഒക്കെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്ന സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ആണ് ഇത് ശരിക്കും പറഞ്ഞത് അത് ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ് ലെവലിൽ ഇട്ടോ നിങ്ങൾ പഠിക്കുന്നത് ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ് ലെവലിൽ അല്ല പോസ്റ്റ് ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ് ലെവലില്ല അങ്ങനത്തെ ലിമിറ്റേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് മാത്രമല്ല തീരത്തിക്ക് മറ്റേ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക്സ് ഒരു പേപ്പർ എന്ന രീതിയിൽ പഠിക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് നമുക്ക് തീരെ കുത്തിരി പഠിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് പ്രോബിലിറ്റി തീരെ കുത്തിരി പഠിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ലെവലിൽ അങ്ങനെ തീയറിറ്റിക്കൽ ആവശ്യമില്ല പക്ഷെ തിയറി തിയറിയുടെ ബേസിക് നമ്മൾ അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കണം ബേസിക് അറിഞ്ഞെങ്കിലും മാത്രമേ നമുക്കിത് ഇന്നാൾക്ക് ഹൈപ്പോസിസ് അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യണം റിജക്ട് ചെയ്യണോ എന്നുള്ളതും അതിൻ്റെ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ എങ്ങനെയായിരിക്കും എന്നുള്ളത് അതിൻ്റെ എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷനും ഇന്റർപ്രിട്ടേഷൻ ഒക്കെ സാധ്യമാവും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇത് വെറുതെ ഒരു എന്താണ് ഒരു കാൽക്കുലേറ്റർ നമ്മൾ വാല്യൂ കിട്ടി എന്ന് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ പക്ഷെ കിട്ടുന്ന വാല്യൂ നമ്മൾക്ക് ഇന്റർപ്രിറ്റ് ചെയ്തിരുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ ലെവൽ അത് മനസ്സിലായി അതിനാണ് ഈ പറഞ്ഞ ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ രീതിയിൽ കുറച്ചു കൂടി ഒരു ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ആയിട്ട് ഇതിൻ്റെ ഒരു പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നു ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ആയിട്ട് ഓക്കെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ദീസ് ഡിഫറെൻ്റ് കൈറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ ടെസ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് എന്ന് പറയണത് നമ്മൾ സാധാരണ രീതിയിൽ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ ടെസ്റ്റിനെയും സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് എന്നാണ് പറയണത് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് സയൻസിനെയും സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് തന്നെയാണ് പറയണത് രണ്ടും ഒന്ന് തന്നെയാണ് അപ്പൊ ഒരു ടെസ്റ്റ് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഇപ്പൊ പറയാൻ പോകുന്ന ടെസ്റ്റ് ഒക്കെ പറയുന്ന സമയത്ത് അതിന് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് സയൻസിന് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു സംഭവം സയൻസിന് നമ്മൾ ആ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നു പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ടെക്നിക്ക് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ മെത്തേഡ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ എന്നാണ് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഏത് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ആണ് നിങ്ങൾ ഉപയോഗിച്ചത് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ചോദിച്ചത് എന്ന് ഏത് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ആണ് നിങ്ങൾ ചോദിച്ചത് എന്ന് ഒരു എക്സാമ്പിൾ ചോദിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ദറ്റ് മീൻസ് വിച്ച് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ ടെസ്റ്റ് Uh, you have used in your uh, research or your dissertation okay hello yes sir kekam oh, okay <coughs> yes appo nammal nerthu parna pole ini nammal cheyan povunnathu ella test aanu to theoretical aayittulla explanation mettum onnilla a test um adu aayittu bandhapetta aayittulla kaaryam appo test ellavarum cheyanayittu udana oru ബുക്കോ പേപ്പറോ ഒന്നും എടുത്ത് വയ്ക്കുക ബുക്കാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ നല്ലത് പിന്നെ ബുക്ക് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് കുറച്ചുകൂടി ഒരു നീളമുള്ള ബുക്ക് എടുക്കുക കേട്ടോ അതിൽ കുറെ അധികം സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഉണ്ട് എല്ലാത്തിലും അല്ലെ ചിലതിലൊക്കെ കുറെ അധികം സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഉണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ചെറിയ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഈ നോട്ട് പാഡ് പോലത്തെ എന്തെങ്കിലും സമൂഹത്തിലൊക്കെ എഴുതി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അത് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റൂല വളരെ എന്താണ് ലെങ്തി ആയിട്ടുള്ള ചില സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഉള്ളപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ മാത്സ് ചെയ്യും പോലത്തെ സ്റ്റെപ്സൊക്കെ ഉള്ളത് ചിലതിൽ ഇട്ടോ എല്ലാത്തിലും ഒന്നും ഇല്ല പിടിക്കാനൊന്നുമില്ല അപ്പൊ എഴുതുന്ന സമയത്ത് അങ്ങനെ എഴുതുക അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ കുറച്ച് എഴുതിയിട്ട് വായിക്കുക അത് കട്ട് ചെയ്ത് ഇപ്പുറത്ത് എഴുതണം അപ്പൊ പിന്നെ നോക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് സംശയം സോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ദി ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫസ്റ്റ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ദി ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് പാരാമെട്രിക് ടെസ്റ്റ് എല്ലാ ടെസ്റ്റും നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്നില്ല ടോട്ടലി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ആർ ഓഫ് ബീങ് ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് ഇയർ ഇൻ ദിസ് ക്ലാസ് uh uh in parametric test uh, the test like student key test uh, then <coughs> anova dip- anova and it's a different type then some um, correlation test okay so i think the first uh, test is uh, student key test test kaiyana session and the
particular attribute in its degree or in its uh, other <coughs> attribute compared to the control queue for temperature. In such situation, uh, there are main, there are at least two groups are involved. So this is very simple test. Student T test is very simple test. Uh, most widely uh, used <coughs> test in psychological uh, research. Here, main purpose is to comparing two, comparing the data of two groups. For example, as uh, shown here in this uh, uh, problem, <coughs> uh, there are some, sorry, uh, the data for boys and girls obtained in uh, one test, for example. Hmm? Uh, so, Sadiqsan something that will be number of the uh, number and the data I have done get the end of the only concern on the land. And I never think of boys who are girls in the easy can be done to group and they can make it in the model. Then the group in the teacher, for example, we can say that this is the marks the girls in a classroom, it's not in a classroom, only five data here. Uh, yes, in a group, girls in a group obtain. Uh, from the examination out of uh, 10 mark. Okay. And uh, similar condition for boys. So, two sets of data for two groups. Two sets of data for two groups, that is for boys and girls. Here, the question is that, the such problem is that, or null hypothesis uh, uh, states that, there are no significant difference between boys and girls on the mark of this exam. That is not right. It under group number, boys and girls number, mark a particular subject. It is a million. And here we are going to test. This null hypothesis using student test. So, you all have any parayana guys? All have any changes? Then, that is not a very slight guy. Only that is slight guy. Then, you guys are not much more than that. Only that is not a very good guy. 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 Problems with the Vodina, unfortunately, and other put the market and the problem of problems with the Vodina. Pirin a kind of one, Pirin of watching a terrible statistic where my heart is a bit of a dream, but as the Katima to Manslak on the legal and their period of Manslak. Okay, anyway, a penny number in the animal allowed him, in young or to testify the other than allowed him, say the Parmenicuna, problems, say the particular in the chain and they learn in Kino Canola, your black formula in our survey. Statistical notation, statistical letters is the word of the word. For example, if you can see that the lab is statistical notations, statistical letters, and the same thing. That's why we have to do this. That's why we have to do this. That's why we have to do this. So, for calculating the student t test, the formula is that m1 minus m2 divided by root of sigma d1 square plus sigma d2 square divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2 into n1 plus n2 divided by 
n1 into n2. ഇതാണ് ഇതിന്റെ ഫോർമുല ഓക്കെ ശ്രദ്ധിച്ച് എഴുതണോട്ടോ ഞാൻ ഈ എഴുതിയേക്കും പോലെ അല്ലാതെ ഇവിടെ എഴുതിയേക്കും പോലെ നിങ്ങൾ എഴുതി എഴുതിയെന്നൊക്കെ കുഴപ്പമില്ല പക്ഷെ അത് കൃത്യമായിട്ട് പഠിച്ചില്ല നിങ്ങൾ അണ്ടർലൈൻ ചെയ്യേണ്ട സമയത്ത് ബൈ ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് കണ്ടർലൈൻ തന്നെ എഴുതണോട്ടോ എനിക്കിവിടെ അത് പറ്റാത്തത് കൊണ്ടാണ് ഞാൻ ഇങ്ങനെ എഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്നത് ഒന്നുകൂടി ഞാൻ പറയാം എം വൺ മൈനസ് എം ടു ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ റൂട്ട് ഓഫ് റൂട്ട് ഓൾ റൂട്ട് ആണ് കേട്ടോ അങ്ങ് അറ്റം വരെ ഉണ്ടോ റൂട്ട് ഓഫ് സം ഡി വൺ സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് സം ഡി ടു സ്ക്വയർ എൻ വൺ ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ എൻ വൺ പ്ലസ് എൻ ടു മൈനസ് ടു ഇൻ ടു എൻ വൺ പ്ലസ് എൻ ടു ബൈ എൻ വൺ ഇൻ ടു എൻ Here this uh, letter denotes M1 for mean of the group 1. M2 means mean of group 2. Sorry, I'm going to group 1. I'm going to copy some of my letters. Group 2. M2 that is mean of group 2. D1 is the deviation of each score from mean 1. D2 means deviation of each score from mean 2. N1 means number of Uh, cases in group 1 n2 means number of <coughs> cases in group 2. number of observation number of data kato ennu varanad ippol number of data aanu number of observation aanu number of participants aanu ennu ini sample size aanu ennu discuss okay appo ee problem ellaru ezhuthuga ee formula upayogichittu calculate cheyiga ennattu ippo aayatha problem aayathu njan cheyidittundu ningal aaru cheyidittu cheyidittu നിങ്ങൾ അത് ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം ഞാൻ അത് കാണിച്ചു തരാം ഞാൻ സ്റ്റേജിൽ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ എത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ രണ്ട് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഇവിടെ കേട്ടോ ഗേൾസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് വൺ ബോയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ടു ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ ഞാൻ എഴുതിയിട്ടുള്ള എഫക്ട് ഇതാ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം ഞാൻ ആ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് വൺ നമുക്ക് ടു ആക്കിയില്ല അത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ ഇതിന്റെ ഇതിന്റെ സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഇത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ യു ഹാവ് ടു ഫൈൻ ദി മീൻ ഫോർ ടു ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എം വൺ ആൻഡ് എം ടു സെക്കൻഡ് ഈസ് ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ഡീവിയേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഓർ ഡിഫറൻസ് ഓഫ് ഈച്ച് സ്കോർ ഫ്രം ദി മീൻ ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ഡി വൺ സ്ക്വയർ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ടു സ്ക്വയർ ഓരോ സ്ക്വയറും ഡിഫറൻസ് കണ്ടതിന് ശേഷം അതിനെ സ്ക്വയർ ചെയ്യും ഓക്കെ പിന്നെ എളുപ്പമാണ് എൻ വൺ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ദി കേസ് ഇൻ ബോത്ത് ദിസ് കേസ് ഇൻ ബോത്ത് ദിസ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ദർ ആർ ഹൗ മെനി നമ്പേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ഈസ് ഹലോ അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ ഈ പ്രോബ്ലം ഒന്ന് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കൂ എന്നിട്ട് ഞാൻ തെറ്റുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ കാണിച്ചു തരാം മീൻസ് ചെയ്തേക്കുന്ന ശരിയാണെന്ന് നമുക്ക് ചെക്ക് ചെയ്യാം ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം ചെയ്യാം നിങ്ങൾ ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം ചെയ്യാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതൊരു എന്താണ് നിങ്ങൾ നോക്കിയിട്ട് കൃത്യമായിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാക്കും This is very simple. This is very simple to student data. So this is only for comparing two groups. Find the mean of first group. What is the mean of first group? Simple. Now you have to do 5 or 2. 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 6 for the first group. And the second one is 5 or 2. 6 is the mean of the first group. 5 is the mean of the second group. Then. Sum of D1 square. The sum of d1 square 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 
sum of d1 square. So if I first find the d1 for each square, then find its square, then sum all this value in two groups separate. Okay, can you allow Yes. Yes, what is the answer? 1.19. 1.19 Any other answer? Yes, sir. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Where are you? Answer? No, 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 no. 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 No, 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 after decimal, take the first two values. We will approximate the check at the top. We will approximate the number approximate the number of approximate the the number of 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 the number the number of 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 the the all these statistical tests are with uh, uh, different steps. All those steps are numbering and approximate the approximate is going to be in the end. Now, San Angelo is some way to do it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, here, uh, one point. What is the answer? One nine. One nine is 19. One point one nine. What is? One point eight one. 1.81 Any other answer? 1.18 1.85 1.85 Then 1.85 1.85 Okay 1.85 1.85 1.85 Okay. Yes. This is the answer that uh, uh, I got by doing this uh, problem. So mean is six. So mean for first group is six. It may be wrong. Huh? We can check. Mean for second group is five. I uh, the Okay, mean for first group is 6, mean for second group is 5, sum d1 square is 10, sum d2 square is 3, sorry, 4. Sorry. Then n1 is 5, n2 is 5. Here, the difference between mean is m1 minus m2 is equal to 6 minus 5, that is 1. 1 divided by, then you can see root of 10 plus 4 minus 2 plus 5 plus 5 minus 2, that is 8, into 10 1 plus n2, that is 5 plus 5, divided by 5, uh, n, n1 into n2, that is 25. Okay. So the answer is 1 divided by root of root of 1.75 into 4. I think 1.75 into 0.4 is Yes, point three. Take care of Hello, you have a problem with the carrier letter. Statistics is a problem. Here, you have a problem with the carrier matter. One point seven five into four is equal to one point seven five into four is equal to. Sir, it is point four. One point seven five into four is equal to point four. Okay. Adal la sare one point seven five into point four ano four la. Point four. Point four seven is 
ഞാൻ ചോദിക്കുന്നത് വൺ പോയിന്റ് സെവൻ ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു പോയിന്റ് ഫോർ ഇൻ ഫോർമുല that you have written hmm? because uh, this uh, statistical notation and this letters is uh, is not easy to uh, correctly uh, is not easy to write it correctly okay so this is the uh, student dea test this is very simple test for uh, test for um, finding out the difference between two sample here stand standard deviation is the standard deviation and the mean means of these groups are considered and we cal calculate this uh, test for finding out whether there are significant differences between these two okay usually um, this, uh, uh, this uh, we have uh, uh as discussed above as discussed sorry as discussed earlier we got a calculated value in this case it is uh, 1.20 but this value has to be compared with the critical value based on the statistical probability theory that is given uh i think in your uh, booklet uh, in a table for uh, student test i don't know whether you have you got this uh, material from the igno did you get yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir okay so i i don't exactly i don't like to remember the page number of uh, this table there is a table and uh, uh, and uh, in that table uh, we, we have to check the critical rate wise and that value has to be converted to this certain uh, value yes uh, here this uh, table value uh, table value that is given here in this in this table for the test is uh, are there any booklet or something undo hello yes sir undo sir are there any booklet undo kayile ഉണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ഏത് പേജാണെന്ന് ഞാൻ കൃത്യമായിട്ട് ഓർക്കുന്നില്ല കേട്ടോ സാധാരണ അവിടെ വന്നിട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യുന്നതുകൊണ്ട് അവിടെ വന്നിട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ എടുത്ത് പറയുകയാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റി ടെസ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ആ പോർഷനിൽ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ടെന്നാണ് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നത് ഒരു ടേബിൾ 
book 3 book 3 chapter 2 okay yes yes Adhe. yes so this please note in book 3 chapter 2 there is some there is one table uh, for page number checking four. yeah page number 44 yeah page number 4 so those who are having this booklet now please check in this uh, page number 44 there is a table for uh, finding out the critical ratio yes appo the kai lulla alkaru sadichollu critical value for this uh, problem is first of all we have to find out the degrees of freedom there are uh, in that table there are uh, here in in uh, in the table that i am checking here uh, this is uh, in the table there are four columns first column is degrees of freedom and second is with uh, uh, probability of 0.10 third column is 0.05 and uh, next column is points so, yes so you have to check the value in 0.054 that means with uh, uh, confidence of 5% okay then find out the degrees of freedom degrees of freedom is the first column degrees of freedom means number of total number of cases minus 1 here the total number of cases 5 plus 5 that is 10 so in the column of 9 so in the in the column of degrees of freedom there is a value 9 take it as the degrees of freedom and check the concerned value in the column of 0.05 i think here it is 2.26 am i right and all hello ah 2.26 is the critical value that is the table y so we have to take the decision based on this critical critical value is 2.26 or so if our value reaches that value sorry if our calculated value reaches that value or crossing that value it means the null hypothesis is rejected that means there are significant difference between these two so as our calculated value 1.20 is less than the table value of 2.26 we accept the null hypothesis stating that there are no significant difference between these two groups or there are no significant difference between boys and girls on the mark of a particular exam okay this is the inference this is the conclusion we can reach by analyzing our calculated value with the critical ratio critical value or t value that is given in detail so for each statistical uh, testing there is a, a table we have to compare our calculated value with that table and thereby we can either accept or reject the null hypothesis so sir very doubt yes sir idinathe nammal 0.05 inde kolathil aanallo nokkunna adu endondana adinde kolathil nokkan kaaranam ah adha naan nerthu parnadhu we generally prefer to probability uh, p value 0.05 and 0.05 സ്വാഭാവികമായിട്ടും അപ്പൊ ഈ ഡിഗ്രീസ് ഓഫ് എല്ലാത്തിനും ഡിഗ്രീസ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രീഡം കേട്ടോ ഈ ഡിഗ്രീസ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രീഡം വെച്ചിട്ട് ടേബിൾ വാല്യൂ ഈ നോർമൽ ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ കർവിനെ ബേസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ള ടേബിൾ വാല്യൂ ആണ് ഈ ടേബിൾ ഈ നോർമൽ ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ കർവിനെ പ്രോബബിലിറ്റി തിയറിനെ ബേസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ള സോ ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് തിയറി ദി ടേബിൾ വാല്യൂ ഷോസ് ദാറ്റ് 2.2 at least 2.26 uh, then only we can reject the null that means our value our calculated value falls within this confident limit confident limit la na nertha parnavale in 95 nulla ende confident limit la na nammada value vandathu 
കോൺഫിഡൻസ് ലിമിറ്റ് ഓ ക്രോസ് ചെയ്ത് പോകാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതിൽ വരെ എത്തണം ആ കട്ട് ഓഫ് പോയിന്റിൽ വരെ എത്തുകയോ ക്രോസ് ചെയ്യുകയോ ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ നമുക്ക് ഹൈപ്പോസ് റിജക്ട് ചെയ്യാം അപ്പോ ബെറ്റർ ഹലോ <laughs> ഡൗട്ട് <laughs> 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 that means in null hypothesis is true null hypothesis we uh, formulated null hypothesis that there are no significant difference between boys and girls on this particular right so that uh, sir, null hypothesis sir will doubt in this sir will doubt you the null hypothesis doubt you can null hypothesis le significance illa enna thodam kada edukkan kaaranam unda നമ്മളിവിടെ പറയണത് ഈ ബോയ്സും ഗേൾസും ഒരേ ക്ലാസ് റൂമിൽ ഇരുന്ന് പഠിക്കുന്ന കുട്ടികളാണ് സെയിം ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ആർ ടീച്ചിങ് ദിസ് സബ്ജക്ട് ഇൻ ദി സെയിം ക്ലാസ് റൂം എൻവയോൺമെന്റ് സോ നാച്ചുറലി ദി സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ അസംഷൻ ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ദീസ് ടു ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് വിൽ ഒബ്ടൈൻ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് സിമിലർ മാർക്സ് അങ്ങനെയാണല്ലോ ഒരു സിലബസ് പഠിക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കപ്പെടുന്നത് രണ്ട് ഒരേ ടീച്ചർ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നു ഒരേ ക്ലാസ് റൂമില് ഒരേ ഫെസിലിറ്റി എല്ലാം ഒന്നാണ് സമയത്ത് അതിന്റെ അസംഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ നമ്മളുടെ ഒരു ഒരു നമ്മൾ അസ്യൂം ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്നത് എല്ലാ കുട്ടികൾക്കും ഒരുപോലെ മാർക്ക് കിട്ടണം എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ബോയ്സിനെയും ഗേൾസിനെയും നമ്മൾ സെപ്പറേറ്റ് എടുത്ത് നമ്മൾ പരിശോധിക്കപ്പെടുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങനെ കാര്യമായിട്ടുള്ള വ്യത്യാസം പാടില്ല എന്നുള്ളതാണ് നമ്മുടെ എക്സ്പെക്ടേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് ബി എക്സ്പെക്ട് ഓക്കെ സർ ഓക്കെ what we observed is different but that observation the supervision aid namku idu different aid thonu but that observation uh, when we check with uh, statistical test it is uh, it is not uh, in that way but even though we got uh, we obtained this uh, mean for average for girl is girls group is 6 uh, and boys is 5 വേണമെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് പറയാം ഗേൾസിന് സിക്സ് കിട്ടിയത് കൊണ്ട് അവരാണ് നല്ല ഗ്രൂപ്പ് എന്ന് പറയാം ബട്ട് ഹിയർ ദിസ് കൺസിഡറിംഗ് ദി അതർ സ്കോർ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് എയ്റ്റ് ഫോർ സിക്സ് സെവൻ ഫൈവ് നമ്മൾ ഈ ആവറേജ് എടുക്കുന്നത് ഒരാളുടെ സ്കോർ നോക്കിയിട്ടല്ല അതിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ഈ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ഡിവിഷൻ ആണ് ഓരോ സ്കോറും സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ഡിവിഷനിൽ നിന്ന് എത്ര മാത്രം വേരിയേഷൻ നടക്കുന്നുണ്ട് നോക്കിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്കത് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ പറ്റും ഈ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് തമ്മിൽ വലിയ വ്യത്യാസമൊന്നുമില്ല കാരണം നോക്കൂ Eight, four, six, seven, five. Our, uh, we got uh, we obtained the mean of 6 and in the next group or boys group mean is 5 here 5 6 4 6 uh, but uh, uh, although we expect that there are significant difference what we observed is that or what we calculated is that or uh, calculated value clearly indicate that there are no statistical significant that where was one in it to it is a cheria data series we have to test in a time there is no significant difference in that one and if you have a cheria data series we have to do better than we can do it first you have to examine the examination I think with uh, uh, 15 uh, number of data 15 uh, yes values may be there 15 or 10 values minimum 10 values അപ്പൊ ഇത് നിങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ ഇത്ര സമയം കുറവായതുകൊണ്ട് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ഡേറ്റയെ കുറിച്ച് ഓരോ ഡേറ്റയുടെ മീൻ എന്നുള്ള ഡിഫറൻസ് ഒക്കെ നോക്കാൻ സമയം പോകുന്നത് കൊണ്ടാണ് ഞാൻ ഇത്ര ചെറിയ ഡേറ്റ എടുത്തത് കേട്ടോ ഫോർ അവർ കൺവീനിയൻസ് അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ ഈ പറയുന്ന സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് എല്ലാം തന്നെ മിക്കവാറും നമുക്ക് 
നാൽക്കാരി പോയിസ് അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യേണ്ടി വരും ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദി സ്മോൾ സൈസ് ഓഫ് ദി സാമ്പിൾ സ്മോൾ സൈസ് ഓഫ് ദി സ്മോൾ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് പേഴ്സൺസ് ഇൻ ദി ഗ്രൂപ്പ് അത് റീസൺ ആണ് ഇവിടെ ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ ഇത് നമ്മൾ വലിയൊരു ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ആയി എടുക്കാൻ പറ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇതേ രീതിയിൽ തന്നെ ഒരു ട്വന്റി നമ്മൾ എടുക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ചിലപ്പോ ഒരു പക്ഷേ ഇമേ ഓഫ് ടൈം സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻസ് ഓക്കെ ഹലോ ഹലോ സ്വാഭാവികമായിട്ടും നിർബന്ധമൊന്നുമില്ലാമ്പാട് there are only six data that is not uh, statistically uh, statistically true okay almost equal i appo ide problem thanne ningal veel ennu cheyu nokki numbers numbers nu maatite data series sorry data ada enna okka kootite 10 data 15 data ekku vachittu ningal ennu cheyu nokku same formula chu yochu nokku and also you find the table value compare your calculated value with the table value then you can understand whether uh, this uh, problem this uh, problem uh, sorry this data in the problem how to be accepted or rejected okay this is the first uh, parametric test very simple parametric test student t actually student is not take his name his name is verse uh, uh, he developed this test uh, 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 without uh, without telling his uh, teacher so he named this test a student that is why it is known as student not the uh, person who developed that is the uh, nickname the name he uh, adopted for testing this uh, for developing this test student g test okay so here mean and the standard deviation is the major concern next is the and just thodangi vekkunu problem nam kadathu sindhi ata inda samayam illa ഒരു <laughs> whenever there are more than two groups we use analysis of variance here instead of standard deviation uh, deals with variance rather than the standard deviation uh, standard uh, sorry student it is we have standard standard deviation on it here we consider the variance of each data between and within so this is formula for finding the analysis of variance uh, that is known as f ratio f means f ratio is calculated by using the formula variance between group divided by variance within for example if there are three groups okay and three groups are having different values so there are difference between each group in terms of the values oro group ilu oro thare values vyathasam undaga group ul thammil vyathasam undu between group and also within uh, if for example if there are 10 person in a group the score for 10 groups are different so there are variance within group similarly the one person in one group of 
obtained a value that is different from other person in another group. If they are obtained. So this is the ratio for calculating the F value. Variance between group divided by variance within group or uh, 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 this is uh, um, standard deviation square. Uh, square of uh, standard deviation is known as variance and variance that is SD square or sigma square uh, it can be used by using this formula and based on the independent variable there are one way two way and uh, uh, multiple uh, analysis of it what do you mean by independent what do you mean by variable okay uh, you might have uh, familiar with the dependent variable and the independent variable. what is the difference between dependent and independent variable or how do we define independent variable and dependent variable in a uh, research context uh, in an experimental or in a research context What is independent variable? Hello? Uh, independent variable Hello. means a researcher Hello. can manipulate it yeah. using. And we can okay. study the variable, which can can the variable which the research can manipulate or researcher investigator manipulate is known as independent variable. And dependent variable means. <coughs> Dependent means dependent variable means the, the variable which gets affected in this independent variable. The effect is uh, we study in the dependent variable. Variable which a uh, variable which has the effect of this change in this independent variable. It's called the dependent variable. Okay, the variable which depend on the independent variable. Independent so that is dependent variable. Okay. No dependent variable. Variable which the investigator manipulate is independent variable. The variable which depend on independent variable is dependent variable. Okay. 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 In any research context, many are uh, independent and dependent variable. There are some other variables like uh, extraneous variable or intervening variables that we might have study the other variable rather than the independent variable which may have effect on dependent variable is known as in the, uh, extraneous variable and the uh, investigator has to control the effect of the effect of such variable effect of the extraneous variable on dependent variable then only we can clearly state because of the effect of the independent variable uh, there are some changes occurring there are some changes occur in uh, dependent variable. Yes, somebody asked for give an example. Yes, here uh, in <laughs> here in my screen, there is a fan is uh, uh, moving. Hmm? I don't know. One uh, this from Abdul. Okay, so in that case, I will take uh, that as an example. We can regulate the speed of the fan. Okay, we can manipulate the speed of the fan. So regulator or regulating is the independent variable. The regulation of the speed of the fan is independent variable. And the speed of the fan is speed of fan is dependent variable. Yes, dependent variable. That is the uh, example. Okay. We can manipulate, we can we can change. Hmm? We can change this uh, we can change the speed of it. Okay, this is the very simple you, example as shown. In, okay, as shown in my screen from Abdul Latif. I don't know uh, his full name, but that I cannot read properly. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, sorry, we forgot it. Yes. Ah, based on independent people. There are three types. So, if there are only one independent variable, that type of ANOVA is known as one way ANOVA. One way ANOVA, one way analysis of variance. 
that is only with one independent variable for example can you say an example for independent variable with more than two groups anybody three group sorry three group or independent variable or minimum three group or that independent variable with more than with more than two groups or with more than two values hello you researched it but it's independent variable with Le. Uh, score of the volleyball team. What? Simple actual example. Simple actual example that anyone can understand. Score of the volleyball team three. Uh, three teams are there. Mm, I cannot, uh, cannot clearly understand. Teams are there. Okay. Uh, Teams are there, sorry, sorry, not teams. Uh, teams are there. How many teams? For volleyball, there are four teams. Sir, I will tell you so this. Uh, suppose it is one okay. swimming pool, like one coach is there. All the yeah. conditions, like all are independent. Yeah. Like you set a length of the swimming pool is 50 meter, but the value well, three swimmers will swim will be different. So those are the dependent variables. So the particular swimmer. No, no, no. I am asking about independent variable with more than three groups. With the more than two groups. Angel you said group. there are three simulations with different speed capacity. A classroom? Yeah. Yes, correct. Just think about simple things. Age Don't go for this complicated. Pardon? Age of the person. How can you categorize the age of a person? Yes, you what, you what you said is right, but be more precise. How can we uh, categorize people on the basis of ages? Child, Simple. adolescent, old age. Young, young, young. Yeah. Child, okay. infant, and yes. Adult. Yes. Ah, group of people. Yes. So, three group of participants in childhood participants from childhood stage of development from adolescent and for from adulthood okay so there are people with three developmental stage development stage another simple example religion very simple example in kerala there are mainly three religions. Yeah. Okay, Hindu yeah. Muslim. Okay, you can take it up. Ah, okay. Or socioeconomic status, more than at least uh, uh, middle social, sorry, middle low and high. Then uh, another example is religion. Age, religion. Uh, okay, okay. So uh, these are the simple examples. Here, uh, with more than one independent variable, with more than two. Okay, so here more than two groups. Pardon, I cannot understand your question. Sorry, pardon. Sir, Hello, more attend in the particular um, uh, subject of um, in score score, no, 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 score is uh, based on the dependent score is uh, related to dependent media. We are asking or we are discussing about the independent variable. Okay. Which is a dependent variable there, sir? Score? There were in this example. Ah. Pardon, which example this uh, with a different developmental stage? Example with a, with a different developmental stage. That is what you ask me? Sir, okay. if we are taking score as the uh, dependent variable, uh, then... Okay. Um, what is the independent variable there? <laughs> Which score? I don't know. Yes, in our case, we have an example. Yes, okay. If you take the mark of the group, we have mark of the group. We have a child who has a mark of the group. We have a mark of the group. We have a mark of the group. You people are appearing for examination. Okay. So we can compare 
ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആ മാർക്സ് ഇൻ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് നോട്ട് എ പേപ്പർ ഫോർ സ്കൂൾ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് എനിവേ ദി ടീച്ചർ കണ്ടക്ട് വൺ ടെസ്റ്റ് പേപ്പർ വൺ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഫോർ ദി yes if uh, this uh, um, if they conduct if the teacher conduct on conduct for children then we can take it as the mark for that children on statistic exam similarly for the adolescent group and for adult group like uh, you are marked in statistics then we can compare the marks of examination marks in statistics as dependent variable with independent variable of variable of participants in pre-developmental stages. Okay. Now, we'll have to get started. Now, we'll have to get started. 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 I think uh, now it is 13. Yes. Seventh uh, below, eighth below, I don't know. Status is super deep. I don't remember exactly. Okay. Now, suppose, uh, sixth standard, uh, status six and more, we have to test paper. We have to get started. Okay. അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് വേണമെങ്കിൽ ഈ ഒരു ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻറ്റ് വേരിയബിളിനെ നമുക്ക് വൺ വേക്ക് ഉപയോഗിക്കാം അപ്പൊ സിക്സ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡിൽ കുട്ടികൾക്ക് സ്റ്റാറ്റിക്സ് പറയുന്ന ഒരു ചാപ്റ്ററിൽ കിട്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള എക്സാം മാർക്ക് അഡോളസെൻറ്റേജിൽ അഡോളസെൻറ്റേജ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക്സ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ആയിട്ടുള്ള കുട്ടികൾ ഉണ്ടാകാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ വേറെ അതർ സബ്ജക്ട് ഇൻ വിച്ച് ദി സ്റ്റാറ്റിക്സ് ആർ കൺസിഡർ ആസ് ഈ സപ്ലിമെന്ററി പേപ്പർ ലൈക്ക് സോഷ്യോളജി എം എസ് ഡബ്ല്യു സോറി ബി എസ് ഡബ്ല്യു then psychology, economics, etc. അപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ എല്ലാവർക്കും ഈ പറഞ്ഞ ആ ഗ്രൂപ്പിലുള്ള ഒരാൾക്ക് കിട്ടിയ മാർക്ക് ഒരാൾക്കല്ല ഒരു ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് പാർട്ടിസിപ്പൻസ് കിട്ടിയ മാർക്ക് പിന്നെ ഇപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ പറഞ്ഞ നിങ്ങൾ പാഠൽ സ്റ്റേജിലാണല്ലോ ആ പാഠൽ സ്റ്റേജിലുള്ള നിങ്ങൾ കിട്ടിയിട്ട് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് മാർക്ക് ഈ മാർക്കിനെ നമുക്ക് ഡിപ്പെൻഡൻറ് വേരിയബിൾ ആക്കിയിട്ട് യു ക്യാൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് ദി ഹൈപ്പോസിസ് യൂസിങ് വെദർ ദേർ ആർ സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻ ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ the participants in different developmental stage or examination of statistics in that way we can check ee moonu group thammile statistics ne kittiya mark thammile vyathasam undu namukku oru analysis of variance veni nadathi nokka okay and ipo parnittulla ee example aayirikkum illada vera edengil namukku example edukka ibada the question here is not the dependent variable question is regarding the independence so if a researcher takes independent variable with more than 3 with more than 2 group we are using uh, this uh, anova that is one way anova yes similarly if there are uh, two independent variable then we can take so we can use two way anova two way analysis of it for example as i said earlier religion is one independent variable socio economic status is another independent variable in each independent variable there are at least three groups uh, socio economic status like low middle and high socio economic status and in religion hindu muslim and christian so in each group there are in each independent variable there are three groups and here there are uh, two independent variables. religion is one independent variable socio economic status is another independent variable. okay and manova means if there are more than two independent variable statisticians are using multiple analysis of variance for example uh, in our case this uh, uh people with the present development stage like childhood adolescent and adulthood then people from uh, different uh, religion like hindu muslim and christian and the people belong to or participants belong to different socio economic status like low middle and high so we have three groups in such a situation we use multiple analysis variance okay so in this way i know i is again divided into mainly three groups based on the number of independent variable involved in study in research process okay okay the next is the problem with uh, one way anova that we can
discuss next. Yes.